So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get her fitted up with a training collar and we're, like I said, just gonna start introducing some basic leash communication. Should be pretty straightforward. We just wanna essentially chillax, dog. We just wanna start to teach her obviously what the leash means, what to do when she feels it, et cetera, et cetera. So get her kind of clipped up here. Perfect. Alrighty, so basically what this is gonna look like is in a minute, I'm gonna switch over to this collar. I'm gonna start walking randomly around the room here. And anytime she gets distracted and tries to go off in one direction like that, I'm gonna stop, apply steady pressure in my direction like this. And the second she moves with that pressure, I'll be relieving tension on my end. So we're essentially teaching her when you feel it, moving with it is what turns it off, right? So I'll have you go ahead and hang out over there for a minute. I'll be using most of the floor here and we'll kind of see what we get. Okay. There we go. No particular rhyme or reason to where I'm walking. I'm just kind of going in the opposite direction of wherever she's trying to go. There we go. Again, just trying to be very quick about that release the second she moves with it, just like that. All right, so in a minute here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to add some sits into this. Same concept, we're just gonna be using the leash pressure to do this. So I'm gonna pick a spot, I'll come to a stop, apply a little bit of pressure up on that leash. Good. Okay. <laughs> She's like, what's that camera doing? Let me go check that out. Good. Okay. Come on. Okay. Okay. Two more of those. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. Come on. Let's go. 
putting the brakes on. All right, so next what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start to add in the bed. So we're just teaching her obviously how to get onto that bed and stabilize on it. This will wind up becoming our bed stay command, meaning go to that spot and stay there obviously. So I'm just gonna use this leash to guide her up and on. And my criteria is just four paws on that bed. As soon as she gets four paws on, I'll release that pressure. Okay. Then release her off with okay. And we'll do that a couple of times. Okay. Um, it could be, uh, or you know, if you have some sort of bed just throughout the house, that would be like a stationary position you would want to send her to. This is a command we'll typically use like uh, when we have guests coming over for cooking or eating in situations where we want to get her out of the way but not like put her in her crate, you know. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. She's be picking it up pretty well. Good. Okay. Another dog got her pretty good on the cheek there. <laughs> yeah, did look as bad. Yeah. You said that happened just the other day. Yeah, like two nights ago. Okay. Yeah. He was laying down. She was bothering him. Uh, oh, I thought it was the other way around. Right. So they, oh, yeah, yeah. Smallest one blue does that to her, <laughs> and then she does that to my oldest. Yeah. Okay, and how many dogs do you have? Three with her? Yeah, three. Yeah. Uh, blue, small one, has had some training. Yep. Rogo has him. He's uh, like 70 pounds ish. Sure. And now her. She's the biggest. What kind of dog is blue? Uh, a, okay. I think a bull terrier mix. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> the two of them get along pretty well most of the time, but you can be, uh, yeah. as, I, as I said, my adopted and annoying little brother. Yeah. <laughs> To deal with that. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. She has gotten better with uh, she wasn't resource guarding water the first night or two. You did say that, yeah. They have stopped doing good. You know, the good. Okay. A lot of times initially, like sometimes when you're bringing a new dog into the house, it's not even so much the individual thing, like the water or the toy or the this or that. It's just the like, whatever they perceive as like their space, they're just guarding like everything, you know? Yeah, that's what she's still doing wherever she lies yeah. down and she doesn't like Yeah. Hard. Okay. Okay, a couple more of these. Just looking to get her stabilizing onto it. So obviously walking her up, getting her on, getting her into that sit. And then I'm just having her hold that for a minute or so. Okay. Come on. Two more. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. So lastly, what I'm gonna do here is combine the healing and the sits we did, and we're gonna start working on doorways here. So I'll walk her straight up. I'm gonna open this door. Then I'll use that leash to get her to stabilize into a sit position. And then again, I'm looking for stability, loose on the leash there. 
okay. And I'll tell her okay, release her through, and then we'll do that again. Same deal, opening the gate, leash pressuring the sit, loose on the leash. Okay. Come on. Okay. 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 Too shabby. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. Seems to be picking it up pretty well. Do you have any questions on that so far? No, yeah, that makes sense. Pretty straightforward. Cool. Have you, um, have you used like a prong collar before with your dogs or anything like that? No. Just okay. The Martin Gills and yep. Furnaces. No problem. Obviously, functions exactly the same. It's a Martin Gill style collar. This is a, this is the Starmark collar, so it's actually a plastic pinch, so it's a little less aversive, but just kind of deters some of the pulling, obviously. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this. You can give her a minute before you get started, obviously. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your healing. So I want you to get her on your left hand side and your goal here is to just walk around the room and maintain that general position. We're not looking for perfection with it. I just wanna see her start to understand and build the muscle memory of staying kind of in that general vicinity as you move. As you're doing this, one thing to be aware of here is kind of how you're holding the leash. So you're kind of holding like this right now, and what's happening is one, she's winding up in front of you because your arm's kind of bent forward, and two, your pullbacks are kind of weak because this is an awkward position. So usually what I like to do is I hold the leash like this at my side, and obviously since she's a pretty tall dog, you're gonna be holding it pretty close to that snap, obviously. And you want your arm to stay fairly straight, and your direction you'll pull is gonna be back. Right? Like, uh, yeah, but so you're still holding it like this, let go of it, and then grab it like this. There you go, you got it. And then hold it even shorter than that. 
perfect, right about there. And then again, the direction is gonna be just back. Think like natural swing your arm backwards. And that should be a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more easy to enforce. And now you can start trying to walk around and enforce it that way. That looks much better. Olive, it's time to go home. It's time to go. Very good. Does that feel a little bit more comfortable? Awesome. All right, so next what you're gonna do is you're gonna start adding the bed into this. So again, leash pressure onto the bed, then into a sit. Awesome. Okay. I'll do that a couple of times here. you're gonna add your doorways into this. So again, we're walking up to the door. With these two gates, open these outwards. So pull this one, push that one so you don't get trapped inside. And you're gonna open, then do your sit. Make sure she's nice and stable before you go through. Then say okay. Oh. Okay. Perfect. Make sure that door's all the way open. Loose on the leash. There you go. Okay. And then you'll just turn, do those two coming back in as well. And pull that one. Yep. <laughs> Door's in the way. Okay. There you go. Okay. Then just use that leash to help her through. Okay. There you go, perfect. Awesome, I'll take her back from you. Looking pretty good. Questions so far? Uh, no. No, so. 
pretty straightforward. Again, all of this is gonna kind of be very similar to each other. We're just starting to get her focused in. And again, we're just picking one really clear form of communication to start. Yep. Again, like I said at the beginning, it's not that we're looking for perfection with this by any means. Yep. Sit. Oh, we're just looking to say, okay, cool. We know we could get her into a sit. We know we can get her onto a bed. We know she understands the concept of holding a position when given that command uh, until released, obviously. From there, like I said, we can go about proofing all of those behaviors. Okay. I think she's picking things up pretty well. I mean, obviously we got quite a bit of distractions and stuff, but yeah. I mean, we're able to at least manage her and, and she's doing pretty well with it. So we'll let them bring this dog through and then start kind of wrapping some of this up here. Good job. I think she, uh, I think she took to all that really well. You know, not too shabby for first session. Um, you know, my expectations of the first session are usually pretty low. I'm kind of just getting a baseline assessment of where the dog is at with things and how they respond to stuff. So if they progress like she did and, uh, <clears throat> you know, obviously uh, get through most of that stuff with minimal resistance, that's a huge positive. So, you know, she seemed pretty compliant from the standpoint once she understood what it was that we wanted her to do. She seemed pretty happy to do it, obviously. So that's good. Yeah. Um, like I said, initial command, or not an initial command, initial, initial session, none of this is gonna be super real world just yet. It's not really gonna help you that much at home, aside from just managing her when she's on the leash better. Yeah. Um, but as we progress over these next couple sessions, a lot of these skills will apply directly to the situations at home with the other dogs and things yeah. like that, you know? Well, she definitely needs to start from square one, I think. Yeah. It seemed like she didn't know much of anything to show 100%, 100%. So, uh, like I said, all in all did really great though. Seems. <laughs> She's like, who's this dog in here? Yeah, she's, uh, she seems very friendly with the other dogs, but she, she barks and doesn't seem to like my neighbor's dog. I think that's yeah. the other dog. Yeah, they can kind of get into that pack mentality a little bit sometimes. Like if all of the dogs are just like, hey, there's the neighbor's dog, bark, 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 <laughs> you know? <laughs> and that doesn't necessarily mean she's being aggressive or anything. It just means that, hey, we're all barking. There's something exciting over there. And it's something we'll ultimately want to deter a little bit, but um, it's not necessarily really concerning either, you know? Yeah, yeah it's just she's talkative. Yeah. So, but all in all, like I said, pick, picked all that up really well. So your uh, homework here is gonna be just 15 minutes a day or so, just put her through the motions with some of this leash stuff, work on your doorways, work your healing, all that kind of stuff. Just yeah. kind of get comfortable with that leash grip that we're implementing and everything. Uh, and we'll kind of keep plugging away with her from there. But she looks pretty good.